Last week we took some gold coins to the refinery so we can go get them melted and turn them into a gold bar for our Cuban link chains. But then our Cuban link manufacturer called us that he had an issue with the gold bar and he rejected and he said that this bar is no good. It was going to contaminate it. We were a little questioned. As you see here, it cracked. This little piece came out. It does show it's 21, 22 karat. And when they melted, they were testing right between 21 and 22 karat. But now if we get this piece and we flip it over, you're gonna see that it's testing as very, very little gold and a lot of tungsten. We're in a big problem here. Our dealer went and gave us the money back, but there's still a question in theory of what happened. The excuse that was used was that the crucible wasn't hot enough, so it didn't melt the impurities. This doesn't make any sense because in the making of gold jewelry or in the gold coins, there should not be tungsten unless somebody was getting screwed over, unless somebody was getting duped. 